Well, welcome back to Miss World 1990, where shortly the accent will be on conversation. Now, Michelle, you've been on the receiving end of this. Do the girls really dread the interviews? Well, to be very honest, Peter, it is quite nerve-wracking waiting back there, but sure, you'll be very nice to them, won't you? Of course I'll be nice to them, aren't I always? And where, where language problems are concerned, we've got you to call on, haven't we? Well, yes, I can help out. How many do you speak? I speak four. And? A little English. And a little English. You speak some Irish too, don't you? Yes, I do. Umul Anguelga Gotha Padrick. I'll have a double, now that you're asking. Thank you. <laughs> OK, let's get on and meet the ten semi-finalists who are competing for that coveted crown. Let's greet once again Miss Holland, Miss Turkey, Miss Ireland. Well, Miss Ireland is 20 years of age, 5 feet 7, and she's an air stewardess. Uh, Miss Turkey, 19, is 5 feet 7. And Miss Holland, 21, 5 feet 10, she's a student. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Miss Jamaica, Miss Venezuela, Miss Finland. Miss Finland is 22, 5 feet 6, she's a student. Miss Venezuela, 19 years of age, is a dance teacher. And Miss Jamaica, 20 years old, is 5 feet 9 and a model. Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. And let's greet Miss New Zealand, Miss USA, Miss Aruba and Miss Poland. Miss Poland, 23 years of age, is 5 feet 8. She's a medical student. This is Miss USA, 21, 6 feet tall, also a student. Miss Aruba is 20 years of age, 5 feet 4. She works as a secretary at the moment. And Miss New Zealand, at 17 years of age, is 5 feet 10. And she is a student. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Well, while our girls are getting ready for their interviews, we're going to take another little trip back to Norway and relax now to the romantic sounds of Richard Clayderman playing Vivaldi.
Schlademann there playing Vivaldi. Well, tonight will just be the start of a very busy year for the girl who will win that coveted crown. Now, part of her work during the year will be to help raise money for deprived and handicapped children. We're now going to meet someone who has helped to raise millions for children worldwide. Please now welcome Julia Morley, president of the Miss World organization. You're very welcome, Julia. Julia, tell us how will Miss World help raise money for children? Well, uh, Miss World Plus, a lot of the other contestants that you see tonight will be involved in fashion shows throughout the world. We're going to um, start off in Belize, that's our first serious job, and we're going all the way around the world for those that want us to do something positive, put something back in. So you're hoping to raise millions of pounds this year? Well, we'll certainly try our hardest. We need everybody else to help us, we can't do it alone. So you're proving the point, beauty with a purpose. That's yeah. right. Thank you, Julia. Well, now we're going to take a look and hear a little bit more about the work and the charity work of Julia and the Miss World organization. One of the proudest moments was when Her Royal Highness the Princess Anne opened the Variety Club Children's Hospital in King's College, London. We had sponsored the Mountbatten Ward in memory of the late Earl Mountbatten of Burma, who attended so many of our charity luncheons to receive the contestants' gifts, which were then auctioned. Millions of dollars have been raised in this way. Each year we make a point of visiting the hospital with contestants so they may see the results of their charitable efforts. The Variety Club of Great Britain makes over six million pounds annually. This year, in celebration of their 40th birthday, they are trying to raise an extra five million pounds to help six children's hospitals in the UK. One focal point of their fundraising is Benny the Bear. Every time Benny is sold or auctioned, money is raised to help Variety in its task. The Variety Club not only raises money to help children, it identifies with the children as well. Each year, Sunshine coaches take children for visits to the seaside, the zoo, and hundreds of other activities to brighten up their lives. This program is called Variety at Work, and again, as you can see, we're there. This is a Variety Club party where each contestant adopted a child for the day. Fortunately, nearly all the contestants speak English, but kindness has no language barriers. The gifts bought over by the contestants are auctioned or raffled at a Variety Club Miss World luncheon attended by many celebrities and business people. In most years the lunch has raised over $200,000 which is divided equally between Variety Club of Great Britain and the Variety Clubs International in New York for their Lifeline program. This program arranges major surgery for deprived children throughout the world. Operations normally costing $50,000 are performed for $5,000 as doctors donate their services for their contribution to Variety's cause. As a result of this lunch, many children's lives will be saved and traditionally, in national costume, the contestants stand on their tables, wave a thank you and farewell to the very generous Variety Club members and guests for their magnificent support. Thank you. 